Hi, Floss Tube. <clears throat> I, this is Minnie from All Exes. I'm back. I've missed you so much. I haven't been able to make a video for some reason, you know, doing nothing all day. Just, I just get busy doing nothing all day. And, and before I know it, my husband's home and I, I, ca I can't record when he's here. It's just too much. So, but I'm back and I've been watching all of the floss tube videos and I know I don't comment on them but it's it's like I'm stitching while I'm when I'm watching and you know going to the next one go to the next one and I want to watch all of them you know in in order but then I forget to stop and make a comment but I'm loving them I just love all of them um so it's been a while there's little bit to talk about first of all uh, my husband and I celebrated our 40th wedding anniversary last week um, I don't know how we did it but it's been 40 years since we've been married um, uh, we also attended a wedding for his his stepbrother he was the best man so he looked so good in his tux but anyway we went to Atlanta, which was fun. We went to the Georgia Aquarium and the World of Coca-Cola while we were there. So we enjoyed, I enjoyed myself. We stayed a couple of days after uh, my brother-in-law went on his, and his wife went on his honey, on their honeymoon. And uh, we visited with, uh, uh, with my mother-in-law. So we were, we had a good time. Uh, I joined a couple of stitch alongs. One on Stitch Mania was uh, Catch the uh, Hogwarts Express for the um, the beginning of the school year at Hogwarts. So that was fun, and I worked on it while I was there. Um, what else? Um, anyway, I've got some whips to show you, a couple of finishes. Hold on, let me get my finishes, and I'll be right back. Okay. I'll start with them first, since uh, those were the interruptions. The first one is called The Witchy Boot. I know you've seen it. It was uh, from, uh, it's a freebie, from the Sullivan's USA uh, website. Sullivan's is a, is a brand of embroidery floss. They're similar to DMC, and but, and they have, you know, they have the free chart. So this one is stitched with a combination of the Sullivan's and DMC. But I think it's so cute. That's going to be an ornament. I love those colors. It's just, they're great. The next one is from the 2016 Halloween Just Cross Stitch uh, magazine called Spells. I like that. I love the mouse. He's just so cute underneath that tape. But that's Spells. Okay. The next one, I know you, you I, I've shown it to you several times probably before. This is my dollar bill. I finally finished it. I think the last time maybe I showed you, I had a little bit more of the back stitch in here, but now it's finished and I added the little words up here. First dollar I ever made, which is true. This is the first dollar I've ever made. So that one is gonna in the frame. Okay, this one is from, mm, who's this from? La Di Da. And it's, I love this song, I love this. It's The Wicked Witch. And I love it. And I'm thinking about making this into a little bell pool. Um, if I could get maybe a little ruby slipper, or 
maybe a little house or broom. I can put that down at the at the bottom, but I think I'm gonna make this into a bell pool. Okay, and that's from La Di Da. Now this is on a, a tea stained um, even leaf. So that's what that stitch is doing. Okay, um, one second. All right, I've got a couple of uh, Joan Elliott pieces that I finished that I want to show you. This was a, some more of my finishes. These are actually FFOs. Um, this is a Joan Elliott. It says, Moms are angels. Don't you just love it? Don't you just love her? See the sparkle in her wings? She's got the gray hair. It's me. It's gray hair and the glasses. And it's just on the, the foam, regular foam core board. I did this thinking that one day I would put these in frames. But I didn't get to the framing part. And I put the decorative pins. Now when, um, and then I've got two-sided tape here on the back. But, uh, double-sided tape. But when I get ready to put them in the frame, I just take out these pins here because they're not going to fit. But I at one point I had thought maybe I could, you know, just put that on the wall, but I haven't been able to find anything to hold it. I've got some little pins here in the back, but they slide out when you hang them up. This, even though the foam cord is light, it's still too heavy to, for this to stay in. So, but this one is the, this is the first one. Here's another one. Don't you just love her? It says, dare to repair, measure once, oh no, measure twice, cut once. And that is, that goes for not only do-it-yourself, you know, jobs around the house, it also goes for cross-stitch. Because when you're cutting your fabric, you want to make sure you measure twice. Okay? All right. And then the last one I did is Life's a Stitch. Cross-stitchers are extra special. And I just love it. These are my domestic angels. I love all the beading. And that's all the bling that's in here is the beading. Oh no, she has a little bit around her around the, the outline of her wings. But that is so cute. And the little needle in the pincushion. But there you go. Okay, those are the last of my finishes. Okay. Um, let's see, what else did I want to show you? Oh, I want to show you some needle minders. This is my collection. Now, I don't buy a whole lot of them. I haven't ordered, I've, I haven't ordered any. These are mostly what I picked up, like, at, you know, stores or something, and most of the one, most of them I've made. Hold on one second. Okay, here we go. Uh oh. Of course, like I said, I went to the world of Coca Cola in Atlanta, and this is a refrigerator magnet, but I'm going to use it as a large needle minder and I'll probably have it on something big and I can use it and hold my scissors this is another one this is from the Georgia um, aquarium see the octopus mm, I can do it scary okay so now my little Disney characters I made these these were buttons and I got these at I believe it was AC Moore, I believe. And I just cut the little shank off the back of them and put a magnet on them. 
These, th I love this one. Like I said, the only ones, um, well, to be honest, the only ones I've purchased is this one from the retreat last year. I ordered this one. I can't remember now where I ordered it from. But I ordered that one, purchased this at the retreat last year. Uh, the rest of them I made. This was, uh, these were on earrings. I just took them off. I like the little cherry blossoms. This one I bought from the uh, museum, the Washington Museum in D.C. It was a little pendant, so you can see the little hooks still on there. These are pendants with hooks, but I like those. And that's it. But all these I made. This one is another magnet that I picked up in, actually, in Vegas. It says Party Girl, Las Vegas. But I thought it was small enough to use it as a needle minder. So those are my needle miners. Some of I have some more, but they're on different projects. But these are all I have. And I made them myself. So those are my needle miners. This after I saw the I saw this one. Well, this one and another one. And I thought about Cowgirl Kate and her hold on. And her pocket watch pixie and when I saw these I just had to get them and make them into magnets because they made me think of her pocket watch pixies okay those are my needle minders all right get that out of the way let's see what's up next I'm looking at my notes here um Okay, I'm going to show you my whips. This one is funny. Um, this is the Plutonium Muffins website. And they have the emojis. I don't want to don't want to show you the, the chart. But and this one isn't down here. For some reason, this one isn't showing up uh, as one of the available. But it's the little pile of poop. And that's what it says, smiling pile of poop. And this is as far as I get. But that should stitch up really easy. I stopped doing it because I wanted to start on this next one I'm going to show you. And this one was from a stitch along. This is the a stitch along I started on a group, heritage craft group in on Facebook. I saw this chart and I was just... Uh, let me take it out of the package for you so you can see it without the glare. But isn't that adorable? I love that. I love it. This is an Alma Lynn chart design. And I think it's beautiful. I know it that will probably, you know, stir up somebody and they may think it's, you know, it's not. But I think it's beautiful. Um... You know, because in my lifetime, I know that there was a time that even myself would have been embarrassed by this image. But over the years, I've learned that I have nothing to be ashamed of. This is my part of my heritage, whether I like it or not. This is my heritage. I'm an American. I was born here. My parents were born here. So this is my country, and this is my heritage. And I think this is beautiful. And here is... Here's my shortening bread. I just love her face. Look at it. Isn't she adorable? And this is such an easy stitch. It is so fun. It's, it's stitching up so quickly. I love it. Okay. 
That's one of my whips. Oh, and this this was started on the 8th of uh, September. So this was a, um, like I say, I started this stitch along. At first, I just showed that I was going to stitch this. And some other ladies, they asked, you know, what it was. And I told them, and this one lady said, well, you know, she was going to stitch it too. I said, okay, well, we'll have our own little stitch along. And then we had other people join in, so... We made it official stitch along. So we're still working on that. Okay. Uh, my next whip is this other whip that I worked, I mean, uh, uh, stitch along I, I worked on was the one day Hogwarts. And this is what I worked on. It's my Hogwarts crest. Uh, I'm slow. Okay, finally. Okay, this is the Hogwarts crest that I chose. And this is what I worked on. Uh, the last time you saw I had none of this curly curly flurlies around here. None of that was done. I think it was just part of the lion and the H. But I got the rest of the background filled in and that. So. And this is another one of my needle minders and I made it myself. Okay. And this is a it has a crest with a lion on it. That's why I used it. But I have no idea what this that says. And it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with Harry Potter or the Hogwarts. But it was oppressed. Which is perfect. And I'm loving watching everyone in their making their 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 project bags and it's so beautiful. And Vanna's um, tutorial. I want to try it, but I love my project bags. They're three gallon Ziploc. I love them. <laughs> you can't beat them. They had a whole box of them. Anyway, I'm cheap. What can I say? I'm cheap. Okay, my next whip is it's actually a freebie my favorite it's Leilani the hula dancer by Mirabilia which was a freebie and this one this is my version and where I'm at now I'm stitching it on 28 count Willow Wisp from uh, Hand Dyed by Stephanie Fabric. And like I said, it's a freebie. My first Mirabilia. And it's going to help me decide whether I want to stitch more Mirabilia's. But. What I did was, I changed the colors. It called for Karen Water Lilies silks. Yeah, there were supposed to be four. But, because this was a experiment, I decided I wasn't going to spend that much, you know, on... on but here in water lilies. So I exchanged those for my colorist from DMC. And I will put my exchanges in the description box below if anybody is interested. But I changed them out. And I'll tell you which ones I changed it for. 
but I exchanged those. And well, what I did was I looked at the pictures of the website on the website what the colors look like, and like I said, between uh, that and my colorist threads that I already had, there's some that was similar in color, and so that's what I did. I picked those out. And I substituted. So, here we go. That is Leilani, the hula dancer. I like to say one of my favorite charts. Because it's free. Okay, the next one, I don't know if I showed you or not. But I'll show you again. See, see, my, see my beautiful project bags? They crinkle. Oh. Beautiful. Okay, this one is blending close. Uh, blending place. Blending close. Linden plays, and it's Frankie the Thinker. And this is what I have done on it. This is where I'm at on, on this one. And this fabric is, um, okay, this is Pictures Plus Haunted, and it's a 28 count. And that is, those are my whips. Okay, I've shown my whips, my finishes. Oh, okay. Uh, I've shown my needle minders. All right. And this is what I promised the last time. I, somebody gave, sent me, uh, put a message in my, uh, on my last video, because I gave you a glimpse of the, uh, of my kit. Uh, my my kitted box with my kitted projects in it, and I said I would show you some of them. Okay, hold on a second. I'm gonna try to move your the camera over here, um, so you can see down into the. All of those are kitted up projects. I haven't started on any of them. But I've kitted them up. And I just, I love kitting them up. I'm going to get a stack of them out right now. And I'm going to show you what they are. Okay. And this is just one little section. Okay. This is a topiary charm. That I get from a magazine, one of my magazines. I have no idea which magazine or booklet it came from, but it's a Joan Elliott. And it's just a little piece that uh, you could stitch up for a card. And like I said, and you see it's kitted because there are the fat. There's there's the fabric and the threads in there, so it it's all ready to go. And it's in one of those beautiful project bags. Another one, okay. Let's see, let's see. This is another one, and these are the little smalls. Uh, this is uh, just a little girl riding a bicycle. This is a Joan Elliott, also, and I think this is from okay. This is from the world of cross stitch. It doesn't say which I don't have, it doesn't say which one, okay. And I'm showing you charts, aren't I? You can't, you can't take those off, do you? But anyway, you see it's charted. It's kitted up. This one has a... Okay, this one is kitted up. This is called In a Gentle Fashion. Every time... Every time, part two. Okay. 
it's kitted up and ready to go in one of my beautiful project bags. <laughs> this one is from the Snowflower Diaries. This was a freebie. And it's called Happy Spring. All kitted up and ready to go. This is another Halloween um, chart I bought. Um, you buy the chart. Well, no. You buy the floss. And get the chart for free. And it's just... Here's Happy Halloween. And this is from Plum Street Samplers. I've got the Foxwood Crossings Cross Stitch Designs. This is Queen of, of Stitch A Lot. Treat me as royalty. Fabric floss. Ready to go. Another one, Plum Street Samplers. Count twice, stitch once. There we go. As you can see in there, there's the fabric. And the floss is in there. Here's one, Little House Needleworks. Four Kingdom, oh, Four Freedoms. I like that. Floss fabric, ready to go. Uh, Country Cottage Kids. This is Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Ready to go. This one is all dialed up by Little House Needleworks. Fabric. Some of them have fabric and just just fabric. Some may just have just floss. But they're all kitted. They're ready to go. Here is Waxing Moon Designs. Says there's a Halloween party at Midnight Manor. And that's Midnight Manor. And it's two charts in here. You get the uh, you get this one and then you get the little small one to go with it. Fabric and of course the thread. This is Wonderful Life Pillow Pattern. This was a freebie, I believe. Oh, I might have won this at one of the lock-ins at my local needlework store. I think I this was a few years ago, yeah. So this is cute. That is really nice. I like that one. And this is uh from hmm, Wonderful Life Dot Tanya Marie Anderson. The sampler girl and as you can see inside there is the fabric for the pillow and the stitching so that's the kit okay how about a little bit more these are some more small ones okay this one is little house needleworks Christmas rose Fabric and floss. Uh, this one is Alexandra LA Needleworks. New time. I love that. That is beautiful. Now, I paired it with, um, <clears throat> I'm going to show you. This one I paired with the um, 
some fabric that I picked up in Las Vegas at the uh, Stitcher's Paradise. And this is called Queen Anne's Lace. It's beautiful. It's a 28 count. I don't know if you can see it that well. It's a slight modeling, but it's, uh, it's not showing up. Yeah, you can see the little modeling in it, but it's a bluish, and I think it is just perfect for that whenever I get around to starting my clock. But that's it. I think that's pretty it's gorgeous. Okay, the next one, I was for some reason it just caught me and I just love it. It's Little House Needleworks. And it's called Hello. It's a phone case. Isn't that cute? The old fashioned telephone being a case for your new iPhone. That's cute. And the fabric. My fabric is smoky white, 32 count bell fastening. Okay. This is a quick little Lizzie Kate self contained kit that I think I won as a prize. But it's Lizzie Kate and it's called Autumn. That's cute. And it came with its own fabric and the little scissor. You see, it's a it's a scissor fob. See the scissors? Look how small they are. They're, they're they're tiny, but they're so cute. And it comes with the scissors and the beading. So that's cute. Ready to go. This one I get from one of my magazines, but you don't even want to see those. See that basket right there? That chest full of magazines. It's crazy. Okay, this one is from um, October 2016. Oh, the cross stitch keep um, keepsake calendar. I think it is beautiful. So I won't show you the the chart there. The spookiest house on the block. But I think that's just adorable. And as you can see, it's kitted up and ready to go. Okay. The next one I bought, M is for mittens. This one is Sweetheart Tree. I'll take that out so it won't blind you. But there it is. M is for mittens. And this one comes with, with the chart. The fabric. And it also comes with the thread, some of the threads and the beads. So it's all ready to go. They even give you a couple of needles. So it's all ready to go. And it's in a little case. Okay. The next one is Little House Needleworks Needle Lady pocket. It's a needle book. This one I just have the thread for. As you can see the threads are in there. So it's a kit. It's partially ready to go. This one is ginger gingerbread cookie from Little House Needleworks. Ready to go. 
This one is baked goods. Little house needleworks. Here's the fabric. Ready to go. Um actually I can go on. Let's see, it's only been 35 minutes. What you say we go on once I need to get me a drink of hmm, a couple. Let's sip off my coffee. It's getting cold. Anyway, let's let's keep going here. Let's see. This is This is everybody seen that one. I think this is Plum Street Sampler. Twelve days of Christmas. I've got my fabric and my, my threads. It's ready to go. This one is from a magazine. See which magazine is it? Cross Stitch Christmas. I think this is a Cross Stitch Collection magazine, but it's a candy Christmas, and I love that the little house. It's actually a, like a flat ornament, the way it's made. But isn't that cute? I think that is so cute. And there's my chocolate, my dark, my black chocolate fabric. So it's it's a partial kit and it's ready to go. This one, these, well, these are from Stony Creek. Stony Creek Collections. This is the 2015 um, You can make it as a bell pull or you can frame it. And I've got all four sections. I've got Halloween Moon, Halloween Moon So Bright This is Scary Sights Jeepers Creepers and Witches Take Flight. And like I said, as you can see, you can put them all together or make them individ individually. And I've got my fabric. And it's 28 count Cashel Linen Thunderstorm. And I think this would be, this is a perfect, perfect fabric. Understand. So, and that's ready to go. Well, all I need is my my threads, and it's ready to go. And they're all in my perfect little project bags. This was from Classic Color Works, and it's the Northwood Express. Last the year before, they hit the North Pole Express, and I've stitched it and showed it to you. This one has the fabric. You you, you get the chart. You buy the threads, you get the chart for free. So I added my fabric, and it's all ready to go. This one is says take time to read. And I just love this chart. Let's see. Here we go. That's cute. And it's a Jeanette Douglas design. I've got my fabric and my thread. And it's ready to go. 
Okay. These are designs by John Elliott, Heavenly Host. And it's four little card size designs for angels. I'm going to cut this off right here for a few minutes and we'll have two parts to this video. See you in, in a few minutes. Bye-bye.